All right, so I recently purchased this Hankai 6 horsepower um, outboard engine. Uh, a lot of people are talking about that it's not strong enough or something, or the speed's just not there. Well, that's because it's governed. In here, there's a governor, right? So if you want to get a little bit extra power out of this, I suggest replacing this return spring right here. So you see how that tugs on that spring, right? So when you throttle it, it pulls on that spring, right? But you can still push this back, which is the governor. So if you want to get a little bit more speed out of this six horsepower Hankai or any other with a similar setup, you can just uh, upgrade this spring right here. And that should help you get a little bit more power. Um, so yeah, I just received this probably a couple days ago and I've been messing with it. Um, the instructions are all in Chinese. Um, you know, kind of try, I tried my best on uh, figuring out what to do with the engine as far as like oil and stuff. So this is the oil that I use, Castro Edge, what I had laying around, whatever. I used about almost, I want to say a little less than half a quart in here. And that seems to be fine. Um, now you gotta fill this up with gear oil um, I had more luck laying the engine down and filling it from both sides and, it's, and then I capped this and I stood it up to see if it would drip and then it just started slightly dripping out of here so I figured that was enough um, also this is neutral that's uh, I guess engaging the, the gear but neutral is up um, it does tilt and I have it in a little what is this a little West Marine 8 foot bolt and uh, it's a short shaft from what you guys can tell it's a short shaft and um, I mean it sells healthy it, it started right away as soon as I put fuel on it and uh, let me go ahead and crank it for you guys you get a little bit more power I mean I, I'm gonna ride it like this for the braking but um, I'm for sure gonna swap out this spring right here get just get a little bit more power out of it um, also another thing you might want to tighten the throttle cable because it kind it comes kind of loose and and then this thing kind of lies to you if this is a little loose and that'll also mess with your uh, speed and power because you're not giving it the full rpms or the full throttle on it um yeah and uh, also make sure you grease it has a little fitting in here for the for the grease gun make sure you guys grease as you can see you know i might have overdid it a little bit but whatever that works um it has this feature here so when you tilt the engine up it just locks it in place uh this is metal it's not plastic most people think it's uh it's plastic but it's not it's it's metal um i'm not sure what this cavity here is for since this is an air-cooled engine um i don't see where if it would have a squirter uh i think that's mostly for the um water-cooled hand guys but yeah that's my little uh my little two cents on this engine I'm gonna go try it out. I'm um, gonna we'll be at the river uh, this weekend for 4th of July. And uh, yeah, hopefully it does good. And if it does, I might uh, buy a spare. Oh, and another thing too, for you guys that are a little bit better at, you know, tuning these engines, it comes with this little foam filter and it comes with this massive filter, I feel, for this because the opening is right there. I mean, another thing you can do to get a little bit more power out of this is, is cut this little 
this little uh, you know quarter size thing off cut this little cap off so it can just breathe direct instead of uh you know having to come from the sides which i might do but like i said i'm gonna run it in the river first and uh see how it does and uh, this is just for cruising you know we got a couple of jet skis and stuff but this this is just for cruising um you know for tag alongs and stuff you know you got um cousins and you know aunts and uncles that want to go and sometimes the jet skis are out so maybe they can just trail behind on this but here you go hankai six hor horsepower engine and uh this is pretty much a lawnmower engine here this, this is this is a lawnmower engine. just picture this on a lawnmower this, this is what it is a lawnmower engine and um i'm gonna see if i can even maybe just use the shaft and somehow find a honda engine that fits on here a honda lawn